Hey everyone, I'm here today with another graphic novel review for you. This time I am reviewing Starve Volume 1 by Brian Wood. And I received this book from the publisher by NetGalley in return for an honest review and I gave this book five stars. It's easily one of my favourite graphic novels of the year so far. Perhaps the reason why I loved this book so much is because it's just like nothing I've ever read before and it I wasn't expecting, I don't really know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting quite something that would grip me in quite this way. And I think it's safe to say that the first volume definitely blew me away. This graphic novel is about a character named Gavin Kruikshank, and for the rest of the graphic novel people just refer to him as Kruikshank. And basically he made himself disappear, he went totally missing from his wife and also his daughter for several years. And the first time they actually see him again is when he suddenly appears on TV in a cooking programme. Or rather a cooking competition. You, you know the sort of things that would have, that you'd kind of get in the world now. Well, this one is totally different. It has the same idea behind it, but things get very dirty very quickly. And I can't really tell you much more about the plot because if I do, I will spoil everything for you. But I highly recommend you pick this one up in terms of the plot because I just, I've never read anything like this. I don't think I've ever read a book about a cooking competition. And I really just loved the creativity of it. The writing was absolutely fantastic and it definitely had me from the very beginning. I was hooked. Everything was really in-depth, everything was thought out, everything linked together really nicely. There was no, as far as I noticed, at least obvious plot holes within the world and everything going on. And I loved how there was just so much more to it than just what you could see on the surface, which was a cooking competition. It went a lot deeper. The dirtiness, as I've already mentioned behind it, goes a lot deeper. The backstory of the characters involved goes a lot deeper. It's all just so well thought out, so creative and so well done. You also have a sort of family drama going on in there. So you have the effect of his disappearance and the fact that he's now reappeared on this show and what his daughter and his mother think of this and the repercussions of all that. And I definitely felt that there was also a political spin on this novel and I could definitely see that sort of in between the lines the characters feel incredibly real and they all have their own sort of flaws which really brings out their personalities and makes them that more genuine and I think one of the main things that you can take away from this graphic novel is that it de demonstrates to you how nothing is ever just black and white there are always shades of grey in any situation and I love how you can see sort of personality twists within this book and you don't really know who to trust and there are bad people out there and there are people out there who will stab you in the back. The art for this one wasn't my usual cup of tea but I actually really enjoyed it in this setting because it really worked with the whole story itself and so I've sort of let that go to one side this time because it does work well with the actual book. The colour red is used an awful lot and that works really well with the themes and tones and also all the blood from the animal cooking and things like that so it, it works wonderfully. I just can't recommend this first volume enough. I highly recommend this to you especially if it's your first ever graphic novel. If you're looking for a first graphic novel to go out there for I definitely think that this one is a great introduction to graphic novels and if it sounds your cup of tea you definitely need to check it out. Thank you so much for watching this review. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!